Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Arts and Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. This is a reading for the collective, specifically anyone that's in a narcissistic connection. So I'm going to tap into the energy of the person that's energetically connecting to you. And if they could say something to you authentically, what would they say? So this could possibly be um, someone that you are currently not in communication with at this time. So if they could say something to you authentically, what would they say? Oh, something just jumped out here. Recovery and ask for help from others. Someone needs recovery. Someone needs some help but they're not willing to ask. Someone's not willing to be accountable for the way that they're interacting within the connection. So that could be a message for someone. So to the person that's energetically connecting to you, I took the easy way out. Um, yeah, definitely, of course you did. <laughs> so if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, they took the easiest way out for them. So this person's ad admitting this, and then I know you're watching me. So I do feel that's, um, that is the energy of the person that you've walked away from. This person is watching, watching you, spying on you through social media, and I don't need your approval. So I feel that this person has no remorse for the chaos that they caused you, possibly impacting a family as well as a financial uh, situation, caused a lot of upheaval. So this person is, is confirming that they did not put the work in, that they took the easy way out. They are watching you, stalking you, and they're telling you that they don't need your approval. So they really have no conscious or consciousness in regards to the way that they treated you. They are not concerned with your wants and needs and how this impacted you. So I'm going to pull some more energy in regards to this person, all right? Spirit, give me more energy for the collective specific to this narcissistic person. Thank you. So bottled up illusions keep things inside not opening up and deceptive so this person is a narcissist be out of fear because this person feels like they're not good enough this person's dealing with a lot of abandonment issues dealing with a lot of possible abuse from their childhood this person is not living authentically this person is living behind a mask this person is full of deceit and full of lies and this is someone that you possibly were married to, someone that you had a very serious commitment to that walked away because they have secrets, my dear. So this is the energy of the narcissist. They are still being very cocky, very ego-driven, coming from a place of ego, certainly not accounting for the way that they treated you within the connection, not being accountable and being honest about their lack of loyalty or the fact that they're... They're very um, broken individuals. And this is someone that you were married to, possibly had a very serious commitment to. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify this message for the collective, for those that are dealing with this narcissistic person. So king of cups, you may be dealing with a Pisces. This is someone that you had a lot of love for in the beginning. I feel this person pretended to love all of the same things that you love. This person played a lot of... Um, games, emotional games, page of cups. So this person was not your equal in regards to love as well. And then we've got six of pentacles. This person tried to keep, um, tried to keep some type of balance for a long time, tried to keep up the facade for a long time, but I don't feel that they were able to for very long because they're very immature. This person's possibly younger than you or you are younger than them, but there's definitely an imbalance in regards to age. And in regards to how this person loves and compared to how you love, right? Again, I'm drawn to the fish. So you may be dealing with a water sign. So King of Cups, that is Pisces. Page of Cups, that represents Pisces as well. And then we've got Six of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. Okay, so any of those signs may be relevant. But there's an energy of finding balance now that you've walked away from somebody. That you have invested or learning to invest in yourself at this time. So you're finding love now and turning it inward because you recognize this person, this narcissistic person that you were dealing with was not at the same emotional level. You possibly rushed into this connection with the page of pentacles in the reverse because the page of pentacles in the upright is about a very steady, slow, cautious um, energy where you're learning as you're going and you're not quick to jump in. So in the reverse I feel it's an, a, a connection that you jumped into too quickly because this person seemed to be everything 
was very uh, invested in you in the beginning, but it ended up putting you in a place of lack. This person left you out in the cold. This person you no longer have any expectations for because you know that they're egotistical and narcissistic now and stuck and will always be stuck in this way, right? So now you're taking love and you're turning it inward. You're looking for new ways of loving yourself and looking to have balance in your life at this time. Spirit, please clarify the King of Cups. Give me more energy for the King of Cups. So the tower, yeah, it was necessary for anything that was built on a shaky foundation to crumble in order for you to find true love. So that's within yourself or within another person. Possibly you will be connecting with a water sign, but there is an energy of everything being shook up, right? And I do feel this is past energy. I feel if this has not happened, it's going to happen. You will have something that shakes up a foundation where there, la where there lacks any honesty or integrity. Queen of Cups, so the King and the Queen of Cups. So it's necessary for this tower to happen, for a soulmate connection to 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 um, to occur with the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and then the Page of Cups, right? So this is what you're meant for. This is, and then King of Swords. You're learning a lot. You're learning a lot about what you didn't have in the past with the King of Swords energy. This tower was necessary for you to learn in your heart, in your soul, in the way that you love, in the way that you give love, and also in your way of knowing, right? Now you know that you didn't love yourself to the best of your ability because that's why you were able to be duped by a narcissistic person, right? But now you've learned a lot, you've seen a lot, and now there's an investment of um, stability with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So that's a very cautious, slow energy, one that's of a good investment, right? I do feel the goldenness of this card is indicating a very high vibration that you're moving towards at this time now that you've uh, entered a more balanced energy in your life. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Six of Pentacles for the collective. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the world, right? It's finished. It, you're finished being juggled. You're finished playing games. You're finished being played with, right? You've made a decision to move towards a balanced energy, whether that is with yourself or with someone else moving forward. So I'm going to pull some more energy for you. Let me know if this resonated, if it's your story, if you're interested in a personal reading, I do have them available and we'll leave that information for you. All right. Close out this message with a member of the collective who's dealing with this narcissistic person. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in yourself. And then step out of your comfort zone. So believe that you deserve so much more than someone that's willing to juggle you. Someone that's willing to um, hurt you and not even be worried about it. Admitting that they took the easy way out and not needing your approval. This person has no remorse because they're not capable of that. So spirit is telling you to continue to have faith, to continue to live at a higher vibration, step out of your comfort zone, have some fun. It is summer. Final message for the collective in regards to this energy spirit. And then key, the number 15 may be significant. The number six, five or one new beginnings after painful endings, I feel. So it says new beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Trust yourself, you've done the work, you've done the shadow work, you've healed your healing and all of that is a part of a bigger picture for you. I'm very drawn to this key. You're unlocking your future, you're unlocking your destiny now that you realize that you deserve so much more than this. Thanks guys, take care.